Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. And one of the questions that we get on a regular basis is, how do I adjust my gimbal? It just moves too fast. It causes jerky footage. I want it to be nice and smooth and cinematic. Well, we're going to adjust the gimbal settings. So I'm going to go in to the uh, three dots up here, go to the little icon down here that looks like a gimbal, go to our advanced settings, and now we have different settings that we can use and different configurations. So if we want a slow, medium, and fast configuration, we can build that in here. So this is going to be my very slow configuration. So you can see kind of in the background there, it's moving nice and slow. I have a lot of room. I can either just move the wheel a little bit, but if I crank it really fast, it's still not going uh, very fast at all. So if I go to one of my other settings, you can see it just really books right there. So let's go back to my configuration three. I want that to be my pitch speed to be around nine, eight, nine, ten, somewhere in there. Uh, for some scenes, I may want to move that all the way down to like five and get it really, really slow, just depending on what I'm doing. The next setting is enable gimbal tilt limit to 30 degree. Now, if that's turned off, your gimbal will be able to come up to 90 degrees and it will stop. With that turned on, you can see in the background there, I can actually tilt the camera up an additional 30 degrees so I can get an upward facing shot. You can see here how the camera is actually facing upward. Now you got to be careful of course because you can get the props in the shot any forward movement and it's really going to see those props in there but if you need to do like some inspection or something like that or you just need a cool upward angle to get some clouds being able to tilt that gimbal up is pretty cool. The next one is gimbal pitch smoothness. Now that's going to determine how fast it stops once you let go of the gimbal. So if you have that turned up really high and you give it some motion and let go to stop it, it's going to slowly come to a stop. I tend to have that turned down pretty much to zero as you can see here because sometimes it's easy to overshoot your target. Now I don't want to do that. I want it to stop right where I want it to stop and for me I can just let off that gimbal wheel and slowly come to a stop right where I want it to. So some people may want that smoothness turned up so that it just kind of coasts to a stop. You just got to get used to how long it's going to take to stop. The next one is enable synchronized gimbal pan follow. Again, this is a setting that I have turned off and I'm going to turn it on so you can see what it does here. And what it's going to do is it's going to try and um, compensate for your left right movement. So you can see if I move my joystick left and right, it's actually moving the camera kind of in anticipation of that move. The problem I have with that is when you're trying to line up a perfectly straight shot, sometimes that gimbal is just off just a hair enough to really throw you off a little bit. So I prefer to have that setting turned off. Now I move my joysticks, nothing happens. And it's okay because it's still going to follow as long as I'm not cranking it over too fast and have problems with that. But as long as you're nice and smooth on the sticks, having this turned off to me is the right way to go. So that's how to adjust the gimbal settings for all your different DJI copters. Hope you enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching. If you like them, be sure and hit like. Send us a comment. Let us know what you think of these videos. Just tell us if you want more. If you have questions that you want answered in one of these videos, let us know. Be sure and click on subscribe and click on that bell icon to get notified every time we put out a new video. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.